nucleophilic substitution reactions. Well, uh, let's just copy this bit straight from the syllabus. That's the nucleophile. Let's make it negative. And there's the electrophile. And it has a leaving group, X. So uh, X almost certainly has a high electronegativity, and so it's going to become a little negative, pulling the electrons in this bond towards itself, leaving the electrophile a little positive. So the nucleophile is going to donate a pair of electrons to the bond between itself and the electrophile, making a dative covalent bond. That arrow shows the movement of a pair of electrons. And X, the leaving group, finally manages to pull the electrons off from uh, the pair between itself and the electrophile. What does that leave us with? So that's N, U, E. And then the leaving group has left wallop. The textbook has these four nucleophiles that you seem to have to know. And that's the electrophile. And so it's the same old, same old each time. Look at all those purple lone pairs available. So that lone pair is going to go towards that carbon. So, so why, are they, why is it attracted towards that carbon specifically? Well, don't forget, chlorine has a higher electronegativity than the carbon, and it's going to polarise that bond. These electrons are going to move slightly closer to the chlorine. And so the same thing happens with the hydroxide ion, with the methoxide ion, and with the uh, ammonia molecule. What's the least you need to know? Well, pursuing that right here. From the, uh, from the textbooks, this seems to be the least you need to know. What's the least you'd be expected to do? Well, perhaps draw that arrow over towards the carbon. Draw the arrow over towards the carbon. And uh, you need to know some synthesis routes. And so this makes a nitrile, although I cannot find that in the syllabus. So I wouldn't worry too much about that one. This makes an alcohol. Yeah, you need to know about that. This makes an ether. Now, you just have to recognize that it's an ether, not be able to name it. And this down here is an amine. The IB says you don't need to learn how to name amines, but I don't trust them on that. 